tutorial I'm going to be showing you how the BESA uses uh, Connect Schools. So once students have registered uh, on Connect Schools, you can now log in as the BESA and be able to update the payments made and also to enter the school fees payments, the school fees totals. Yes. So you go to www.connectschools.com, www.connectschs.com. When you reach the screen, you press your own student, you select BESA. You then enter there your ID number. Six two seven three one G four two. Press the on login. It will show you the screen. So once it shows you the screen, we can go there and check the student records. So this shows you the list of students who have registered and also enrolled. Once they we go to term fees. Term fees, this is the school fees term uh term fees that the students pay. So we're just gonna add as you can see the, the 2022 uh school fees term has been added. So for you to add a new uh term fee for the year, what you do is you come here to add term fees. So you once you have done that, you come here and select the year. So that will be 2022. Then we select the learning category. We select boarding school. So there, since there are two different types of school fees, there is the boarding and the day. So here we're going to be creating for the boarding school fees term. So under here, under term one, so the assumption, let's say the term, term one school fees is what? Is uh, 4,000. So before we say press here on save, we have to place in place orders for term one, for term two, term three, term four. So our place orders that you're gonna place there are one. Again here it's what? One. Again there it's one. So bear in mind if if there is nothing here, it will refuse to save the term fees. You can always edit these figures later when it comes to term two, term three, term four. Once you've done this, you then press your own save. It will show you that the term two, the boarding school fees has been entered. So the term one fees. So the term one fees is the combined total of all the amounts that the students have to pay. So be it be SDA plus government fee, all of the plus levy fee, all of the combined figure is the one that is entered here. It's not yet entered separately. So now we want to uh, let's assume a student is making a payment. So we go there to student records. Students record, we come here under, uh, so there we've got one student. So we're taking their national ID number. So you, as you can see, they are, they are saved as a, they registered as a day school. Come here on student payment. We enter in their ID number there. We select the year, which is 2022 category search. This is the student payment. So as you can see there, this is the combined uh, term fees for term one, term two. So that means they haven't paid anything. That means the current student debt is this amount. So here we place in the date of the payment. So we, that will be two uh, January, zero one, January, then the year 2022. 22 then the description here we can enter the description what what is what the payment is about and also we can enter in the invoice number that they get so we say invoice number uh let's say number 126 then description levy payment the amount that they've paid is two thousand press here on so it has been added so now we want to see that it has been added we say paste there select the year 2020 wait 2022 
is cool with search for that there as you can see it shows us the description the amount the id number and uh, the total payment made by the student for the 2022 so they since the school fees for the year is 5.2, the amount owed by the, the other was 5.2. Now the current student debt is 3,000. So that means this 2,000 has been deducted from the total school fees that they owe. That leaves us with 3,200. So whenever this pay, whenever payments are updated on the student uh, payment profile, it automatically updates on the student uh, portal. So let's just look out and log in as the student so that we see what appears because on the students payment on the students portal they can't edit or they can't add any add payment the pesa is the one that adds the payment once they've added the payment it then updates on both the sides both on the students payment profile this side and also when the parent is viewing when they look in as a student to be able to view whether the student has paid or what they've paid has been entered so let's just look out there Let's press here, click here, we enter in the, the student ID number that we just entered payment for. We press there on login. There. So this is now the payment made. So we can see that the payment that we entered is 2000. That was the amount paid by the student. So the current debt of the student is 3.2 so basically this is how connect school manages uh, student payments so whenever a new payment is made on the on the portal or a parent makes the payment it automatically updates so they can always stay up to date with the amounts that they've paid thank you look out there